As promised, uh, that uh, conversation with uh, SR Group Chief. SR Group has cleared 80% of its debt. Uh, that's the word coming in from the Group Director, uh, Prashant Ruya. Here is a slice of that conversation. My colleague Kritika Saxena sat down with him. Listen. We have uh, repaid about 80% of our group debt, hmm. which works out to a lakh and 37. What that means is to about 20% is left over. More importantly, uh, the, f the four main lines of business which we have, which is metals and mining, uh, uh, oil and gas, uh, infrastructure and okay. services, mm -hmm. they continue. We, are still f we still remain focused on all four sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, SR Steel is something which one has to, we'll see what comes out in, uh, given what's happening in the courts. Mm -hmm. And independent of that, the group will have about $11.5 billion of revenues in these four businesses mm. and now with the much uh, stronger and lighter balance sheet we will look at uh, you know growth opportunities both in these sectors and in other sectors uh, going forward okay fair enough uh, you spoke about how the debt is 20 percent left can you help us understand the exact exact amount and how much time would you take to complete that payment no there is no further payment uh, uh, you know ma major payment plan we pretty much repayment uh, program is pretty much is come done. to an end hmm. we have one majority uh, nearly 60 to 70 percent of the balance debt is really in the power hmm. portfolio the debt repayment months. in power is going to be via uh, the process it's more of a refinance there okay. is no You'll real. Yeah, there is no. There's what no what is the exposure right now in terms of debt it's for SR Power? Uh, I think it's about 18,000 crores, maybe. 18,000 yeah. crores. So in the next two quarters, you will be able to refinance and bring that uh, down. Not, not all of it requires refinancing. A portion of it requires refinancing. We will do that in the next two quarters. Okay. Any plans of bringing an investor on board for SR Power? No. There are no plans. Right? Not at this point no, in time. Okay. Let's talk about the last tranche of repayment that you did, uh, Prashant. Uh, 12,000 crore rupees was the last tranche. Uh, take us to where the capital came from, uh, and that was paid to the Indian banks, sir. No, so basically, SR Global, this was, it, it was the last tranche. So principally, about a year and a half ago, when we did the SR Oil hmm. uh, uh, monetization with Rosneft and Trafigura hmm. in August 2017, we repaid about $5 billion of our debt uh, at SR Global. And the last tranche was about $1.75 billion, which was, which was recently uh, given back. Mm -hmm. The only underlying, uh, the only uh, uh, lender left now uh, at Global is VTB. Principally, the SR Global uh, by next year, or uh, sorry, now, the current year, uh, will be, will be debt-free. So by the end of this fiscal, by FY, by March, you're expecting to be debt free. Yes. So the exposure with B2B is going to be cleared. Yes. Can you very quickly tell me what is the exposure left for SR Global, the amount, in terms uh, of the debt, uh, consolidated debt at this point in time? It's a, I mean, I don't want to, they, okay, it's about one and a half, 1.5, 1.6 billion dollars. Okay, great. Uh, just to clarify on another point that you have uh, outlined yesterday, you've settled with lenders uh, with respect to SR Steel Minnesota as well. Can you help us uh, with the breakup of uh, ICICI Bank and SBI, how much do they get? We have clarified that uh, I think nearly about 6,000 odd crores mm -hmm. has got repaid to a, a group of ICICI, Access and Standard Chartered. Okay. Yeah. In terms of the $11.5 billion of the current portfolio, you spoke about the four core businesses. Uh, which is the largest contributing in terms of revenue? If you can help us understand the revenue, revenue breakup. Yeah. In terms of revenue, I would say uh, the oil, oil and gas business, because of the nature of the business, is the most, uh, is, is yeah. the largest contributor. So I think... Uh, nearly seven and a half billion of, okay. of that is in the okay. oil and gas business and then the rest is sort of distributed amongst all of the other businesses power and and uh, ports and 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 the rest of the portfolio we have a mining portfolio we have hmm. and, and this is other than steel and sure. we have to see what comes out of that sure. Okay, well, definitely one of the reasons why you're seeing traction in ICSA Bank and Axis um, on account of that conversation uh, about SR repaying around 6,000 odd crores to a consortium of lenders, including ICSA Bank as well as Axis. Well, we will need to wrap up on the show. It's a wrap on trading hour, but stay tuned. Halftime report just after a short break.